Well, first a little note about how I'm doing this. Um, I'm shooting this with the HC1 camera from Sony. This is the new uh, HV30 camera I just got from Canon. And I have a microphone adapter on the bottom of it that provides uh, 48 volts phantom power to the condenser microphone. I'm going to use this a little bit with the onboard mic, just like right now the HC1 is shooting with the onboard mic. Um, this is the stand, this is the basic setup. Now we're looking at the HC1 just to give you an idea of how I'm shooting this. Okay, first of all, I'm going to shoot with the onboard mic so we can see how that sounds. When I'm back here, my guess is that it really doesn't sound all that good. So We've got a lot of airplanes going out, which is annoying which is a little sarcastic because I'm a pilot and have an airplane. Well, at Jay's request, um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the underwater stuff that I use to do underwater video. We have here the basic housing, uh, loads from the back, has a tray to put the camera on, back for the housing, light system, the light system uses a 12 volt battery, basically a motorcycle battery, so we'll get into that. I'm going to move the camera just uh, forward a little bit so that we can uh, show you some close-ups. This is the HC1. Um, I started out with an A1U, which looks exactly the same, and it, uh, it kind of broke. So it fits in here. I'll show you how in a little bit. I've got the HC1 because it's exactly the same chassis as the A1U and it fits inside here. Um, I'll be converting back to an A1U probably within the next two or three weeks here. The difference is that this is the flash button on the HC1. This is a programmed uh, button that I have set for white balance and I have a special control here to do white balance underwater so that I can manually assign that button to white balance and just go click and set the white balance which is good because as the halogen lights the battery gets lower the color temperature of the lights change so I constantly have to redo this. Okay so this is a housing made by ocean images and it's a hybrid housing. Most underwater housings are either manual controls like this. Um, here's a filter that goes inside there. It's an orange filter that will add some of the reds when you're doing available light in tropical water. Um, this is the focus manual or automatic assignable controls. However, this is a hybrid in that it has, elect it has manual controls, but it also has electronic controls here. Uh, record, stop, start, um, telephoto, zoom. I can do manual focus, near, far. This is a photo switch so that if I press the photo, uh, it automatically uh, sends a photo, a still image, to the card just the same as if I was pressing the uh, photo button on the camera. Um, this is the tray, the camera basically. We'll take the, that off. We, it does take a tool to put the camera and the tray together. Essentially that tool is a coin. So we'll grab a dime here. And in essence, I have to pull these out, set this in here, Just pull out the connection. This goes to a link connector, and the electronic ones really require that you have a Sony camera, or some of the Canon cameras have a link connector, and connect this up here. Pull out that manual control. This particular camera also is a little, this housing is a little unusual. It has these controls, which are actually touchscreen controls for the monitor. So I can actually do my menu and touchscreen controls underwater. 
this I have the extended life battery on here. This is the seal. It's a quad ring, not just an O-ring. Quad ring's a little more advanced. And I set it up here. We have a manual on-off switch here. So there is a protective ring over the glass lens, so I'm not sitting right on the lens. And I can turn this off and on here. I don't know if you can see it real good, but I can see inside there. Press the buttons. There's no tape in there now, but uh, that's basically the housing. The light setup is right here. Always transport the lights disconnected. I have had them go on automatically because after a dive one time I got these are wearing out. I've worn these. This housing I've had for about seven years now for the lights. And I've just worn out these arms. I guess we can put the Pro Watt logo on correctly. And it goes like that. And one, two. Of course it has very prominently displayed do not turn lights on, you know, out of the water, but for a few seconds it won't hurt. This is the connection underwater and I don't know how much it weighs but it's a good 20 pounds plus this is the entire system right here and now I can take it underwater the camera housing itself is positive if I take it without the lights I have to put a weight in place of it on the bottom if I have it with the lights, I'm about a quarter to half a pound negative, so if I let go, I can set it on the sand right beside me. Of course, if I'm at the surface, that also means that if I let go, chunk, if I'm in 400 foot of water, that's how deep this is going to be, and it's not retrievable at that depth. So, anyway, there's the basic setup that I use for underwater video.